of all shows to be plot twisted or just bewildered by Yuki being the younger sister, I didn't see it coming. I genuinely did not see that shit coming. And it, the more I think about it, the more I realize that like this kind of makes it better for I, I guess in terms of competition over Masachika because now that Yuki is a sister and yes, there's a lot of Winces memes. It suddenly puts her in a place where, yeah, Yuki is being very competitive to Big Bro and trying to flex on Adia that I know him more than you, but I just don't think Yuki's gonna win. It makes Adia better, like, in terms of her projection of being with Masatsuka, so it's a very interesting way of, like, diffusing the situation of a potential love triangle happening in a funny way. There are some very funny, cunny, like, ramen moments going on, and I think one of the most important plot points was the flashback scene of Masatsuka and his motivations to not run for like Prez or Vice Prez or even helping out because in the flashback, what happened? There was a girl that I thought personally looked like Yuki just because she had black hair, but the hairstyle was different and I think she had glasses as well, right? So in that situation, Masasuka looks sad. It looked like it's basically the uh, student council uh, nomination event. And my guess, I guess is like the more I thought about it, it does make sense of he feels bad because eventually there was a loser during the running of the student council press. Therefore, he is reluctant to run for it. But with Adia saying she wants to go for it, she doesn't have a running mate. Clearly, Masatsu is going to do that shit, right? But if he does that, who is Yuki's running mate going to be? Because she's also going to run for it. I hope Adia wins. I'm not sure if the season's going to be basically one big arc of running for president. But hey, let's see what's going to happen in today's reaction. Tadaima. And so they met. <laughs> that's that's some um, European shit, right? Kiss on the kiss on the cheek, right here. Just formalities. Masha. <laughs> she wants to be called little Nate Chan. Big teddy bear. The very girly girl. If we look at their eye color between the sister and Aria, clearly it is Aria then, right? Like, I'm talking about the flashback scene back in episode one. Because, like, in episode one, the eyes matched, but the hair was different. At least what I remember from top of that playground thing. I looked at her eyes, and it was this color with a little bit of red or pink tones, right? Based off of that, I can only think that it's Aria and that her hair eventually turned out like this. Unless you're going to tell me there's some fucking weird thing of where her eyes also change as well. I don't know. Like The eyes really does match right now. The eyes does match. Hair color can change over time. But the pupil, the eye color design, it does match. Okay. Childhood friends, sure. <laughs> I want to be that teddy bear. Of course she does. Not yet. Okay. Directly just shitting on Masachika. Yeah, he's an, in, he's an indifferent slacker that's not doing shit with his life. So why are you friends with them? You must be in love with them. What's going on? Six years ago! Okay, more lore time. <laughs> this is like classroom of kids, but J but Russia instead of Japan. If you showed me this frame, I'd be like, it just looks like any ordinary Japanese fucking elementary school kid or something. <laughs> okay. Is this English right now? How good is the Russian? Any Russian speakers in chat? Let me know in the YouTube comment section. Because, like, is this the equivalent of, like, English, you know, in Jap in, in anime where, like, you know, the English is not very fluent? I, I hear that Adia's English, uh, Russian is pretty fluent, but, like, I wonder if the side characters are. Words name. Adia. Pazilitoch name. Magajina. Emil's name. Lavka. Which was the least? Takstovoluch chef chef. I'm in it to win, baby. She's so determined. Yet. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here, kid. You want me to tell you my business model and my business strategy? You got hired by other competitor fucking businesses to get here. I get the out of here, Brian, telling you my industry secrets. Ah, 
нашла. Извините. А, извини. Я ще не сделал. Indifferent slacker! Чего же течение итогов? Надо быстрее. Я ще не дера впереди. Classic, classic group assignments where you do all the work and everyone else is incompetent. And by the time it's time for the uh, presentation, everyone didn't do shit, but they try to claim the credits, man. L after L after L. And now I understand why Aria hates them. She got a taste of group work and she got it very early. <laughs> Yo, she's sweaty. Dude, those other kids are not in here to win it. Oh, shit, drama! Dude, dude, the kids are popping off. But you can already see clearly, like, how the Determined she was, she's like, I'm in it to win it. Then no one else tried, and now she hates these incompetent slackers. Ugh. And she's still solo carrying this assignment. <laughs> This is a sports anime, dude, right now. This shit is straight up a sports anime where we didn't qualify into national tournament, bro. The other group won! My teammates fucking slacked! Oh! The dreams of nationals, it's over! Oh? Wait, 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 you just went from Russian to Japanese. Oh, wait, wait, what happened just now? No, she's already speaking Japanese from here on out. Okay, they dropped the Russian. Oh my god. Until she meets Kuze? I don't know, but like, damn, having this kind of realization of like, I was wrong to expect anything from them. This is the way I feel about you guys in the YouTube comment section, the why I call you fucking monkeys. I have no expectations and I can't be disappointed. It's a defense coping mechanism to protect my heart. Poor Adia, man. She really wanted to win. And this is the natural conclusion that a lot of kids will come to. And I, I did that shit too, but like, if you, I think the right correct answer is like, all right, instead of trying to do everything by myself, you should have been able to convince those idiots to help out in the group project. Because Ayana Koji, he would have figured it out, right? Even he understands that you can't do it alone. These tools need to be made useful and you got to figure out incentives on how to make these monkeys work for you. But obviously most people aren't going to think like that and they're going to think, I got to just do it myself. So six years ago, she was in Russia. Her hair color was still the same. I lived here until five years ago. So she's Russia, then Japan, then Russia, then back. Right? Right? So it's like she, she lived in Japan and Russia before, until before she got here. Right? And her hair color has been the same as a kid six years ago, but then you could argue that like, oh, seven years ago, it was actually blonde. I don't fucking know, bro. <gasps> a slacker! <laughs> Indifferent slacker! How does she fall for him? Well, she falls for him because clearly like they know each other. They're childhood friends, right? So it, they're because like he acts like he doesn't know her right now, but then she's gonna be like, Oh, yeah, the kid that I used to hang out with, the kid, oh, yeah, grandpa's place, right? Arisa, Mihailo Bunakujo, yo, Yarashika. Oh, a stretch during a introduction <laughs> into immediately ignored. That is the disres most disrespectful intro I've ever seen in my life, bro. She, he didn't even finish it, and then he just like, Oh, Hikaru, what's up, boy? That's how you get girls, guys. You just treat them like trash. That's right. 
You don't try to be a white knight prince, not treat him like trash, ignore them. It'll just work out. If you're an anime main character. Ah, Oh, I forgot my gym strip. No? No, it just has no cardio. What was that running animation, dude? Someone said last episode that Connie is in every fucking anime recently. Connie does make it. Any shaved head kid, it's just Connie, bro. Like, even dangerous in my heart, right? The shaved head kid who likes them thick ass girls. That's Connie, bro. Eminence in Shadow? Poe? Taito is also Connie. Any mob character friend that has a shaved head is just Connie. <laughs> Uh-oh, slackers! I'm getting triggered! It's the same type of kids that made me give up on humanity. Hmm. This is the moment Kuze shows up. Masatsuka will show her how serious he can be when it actually matters. And then she'll fall for him. And then somehow we also have to, like, we still don't realize that, like, we literally know each other from the past, right? ただ、取り持ちなら。だってことないんだから。わあ、まあ。でもらうよう話をつけた。そう、I'll Okay, okay, this is good moves. くじょうさん一人で頑張ったって仕方ないだろう仕方ないって何おおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおお
like like if you think about it he just got the paper to be approved by what the hookup of the previous press to get all nighter now he's just standing there he he is actually so efficient with it man he is so efficient he's like make it made it seem like he's not a slacker to audio through it by doing all this shit and now Kanye's doing all the work Yay, happy memories! Wait, did he actually get punched in the eye? I wonder. Number one! Oh my god, we're even having a dance like this too. Yo, get in there! It's your Kaguya-sama moment. You gotta dance with, you know, Masachika. Now's the time. もう、お疲れ。今さら荒野祭で なんかあんまり嬉しそうじゃないなこうぼっちをいじられてるからそっちじゃないわよその馬鹿にした言い方お姫様のコールドパート普通に褒め言葉じゃん苦労知らずの言うおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいお
because she is not aware that he is the childhood friend that they used to hang out with. Well, it might not be her, but Masatsuka still learned Russian to talk to that girl who seemed to have blonde hair and matching eye color as Arya back in the day, right? So that's how he knows Russian, and that's why she doesn't think that he knows but still talks in Russian. Okay, okay. <laughs> Yeah, let's see it. Show me your moves! And skipped! And skipped! Wanted to see the dance, man. They're dancing in the opening? Okay, we're at 1650 right now. Let's go see the dance part in the opening. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, yeah, this is the dance scene. Well, he took her hand here, right? That, that, that's the scene that I'm really interested in. Hold up, hold up. The piano. This, right? This is the girl that I'm talking about. That, which I, I thought it was Adia, right? It's the fucking same eye, but the hair color is different. And this is where he learned Russian to talk to this girl. But it could be Adia. It could be a completely different girl. Who really knows? But the dance scene, unfortunate that it got skipped. It is what it is. All right, let's get back to it. They're dancing in the OP. Okay, okay, okay. I saw you. Ah, oh, Jesus fucking Christ, the retards on fucking YouTube are gonna be like, YOU FUCKING DIDN'T SEE THE OPENING DANCING SCENE! Alright, motherfuckers! I'll just play the fucking opening right now for you retards. That's been so interesting. The fuck is this? This suddenly turned into an opening analysis. Masachika? Yuki? And the maid girl. This girl... Where have I seen her? Where the fuck have I seen her? I don't think we've seen her just yet in the anime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This scene right over here, right? This is the losing girl scene. Right? That's a losing girl in the student council prize. Let's go back here. Yuki is ready to go. Yo, Hasekawa is in... I didn't realize Hasekawa from Kaguya-sama is in the fucking... Is the running mate for this girl that lost in the flashback. Yeah, this is straight up Hasekawa, bro, from Kaguya-sama. What the fuck is going on? Hold up. Uh, Hayasaka. 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 Wrong name. Wrong name. Wrong name. Hayasaka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This dance. You telling me this is the fucking dance y'all been saying? I was looking specifically for the dancing scene, the folk dance, not this generic dance. That's fucked up. Like that, I was literally only looking for the folk dance scene. That's why I said the dance was not in there. But like, yeah, they were fucking dancing generically. All right, whatever. Let's get back into it. <sighs> Oh, this is the moment she started to talk in Russian and started going ooh ooh dere 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 on Masatsuka. Okay, okay. Saka. The bear. So that is skinny not chat and out there. Hanash kiteta? Eh? Do kitem of Tarino Nareso Menishko Kibachi that they eat that show? Friends to lovers? <laughs> that's Masatsuka. Right, that's gotta be Masatsuka. Well, it looks like him, right? It looks like him when he was a kid. And now it's looking like she is the one on top of the plague. Oh no. Oh no. Oh shit. Bro was risen of his sis- her sister. Real- Really? Really? <laughs> that love triangle has formed. Yeah, it's formed again. It, 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 uh, it used to be a love triangle with Yuki and then it kind of got dismantled last episode, right? Because of the Winces, you know? But now, a new challenger has appeared. And like, well... She the, the, you can't see the eyes, right? You can't really see the eyes here, but clearly it is Masachika. And like, she can't recognize Sakun? Masachika. Sakun, right? Like, hold up. Sakun. Sakun is a nickname. 
of masachika sakun. It makes sense. It adds up. Okay. <laughs> Shit. Shit. You got the sister. You got the both sisters. How would she not recognize Masachika though? They, like, I guess they group a long time and the face looks different. I don't fucking know. This is gonna be crazy, bro. Like, this shit's gonna be crazy. <laughs> the <dog> <laughs> From friends to lovers, says Arya's sister. Masatsuka and Arya's sister were really getting on like that? Back then when they were like young? I don't know how that works. There was also a rumor of like, you know, the older sister having a boyfriend or some shit, right? Wonder if that links back to Masatsuka. <sighs> the timeline of it is still kind of weird because obviously Arya's family, they were in Russia and Japan and Russia. At some point, Masatsuka was able to hang out with that girl before she moved back to Russia and then they obviously lost part, right? And they lost connect connections and then they came all the way back and now I guess after the times they don't really recognize each other. Oh, Kuse! I'm Satchan! Yeah, nice to meet you! Alright, Masha. Friends to lovers. Oh, Jesus. She's recognizing. Because she hasn't formally met Masasuka yet, right? She hasn't. Now it's actually direct one to one contact. Uh oh. Oh! Satchan, Satchan. Masachika, It's happening! Oh! Anyways. Masha, hold up! Masha, why are you backing down? Oh, Kev, shut the fuck up. You know exactly what she said. You think that was a little test to see, like, if I spoke in Russian, would you understand me? Would you come with me? And now he's like, uh, what, what, what was that? Which means that he's not Sakura. That wasn't... He did not... He doesn't want other people to know that he's... I don't know. It's interesting what happened just now. Because now, Masha's gonna be like, nah, I can't be him. Because, like... If it was him, he would know. For the sake of keeping this mystery, the whole fucking love triangle, ugh, I don't know. Or is Masha playing along? I don't know, right? It could be Masha realized it's not him or, hmm. Hmm. Maybe he's fucking with me. I don't know. It felt like a test and it looked like he failed, but who knows? Hey. <laughs> What's the odds that we're going to run into Arya here? She loves plushies, huh? Okay. That's him, bro! Look at his face! <laughs> just fucking dude she's just spending student council budget on random shit right now hold the fuck up she's fun for sure totally different totally different from Mario hmm? Yes, it's Now, what are the odds that Big Sis will step out of the race for Arya's sake? And Big Sis will take the L privately. Because like, see, you get along perfectly. It looks, you look so good together. And like, Arya just told Masha like the whole story of like, she knows that Arya is close to Kuze. 
Masha can't get in there. Fully aware that this is Sakun, the guy that I fell in love with when I was a child. Like, I could totally see a circumstance where Masha decides to, you know what? I'll take the silent L. いいじゃない。はい。ありがとうございます。ゼク。誰がいいと思う I don't think dad's gonna take him. Cause then I'll fall off. I is dad gonna say no? And Yuki's very sick. Not enough answers. We didn't get an answer. I'm gonna stay here. Where is here? This is mom's place, right? I'm gonna assume that mom is staying in this place and dad's going somewhere else. Yuki is sick, Yuki's gonna stay here. And for the sake of Yuki, I wonder where Masatsuka went to. But Masatsuka also hung out, but there's a grandpa also, right? There, there, there is also the grandfather's place. Ah, oh, shit, there's too many goddamn variables. Yeah. Oh. Oh! What you doing? <laughs> did she do this to you back in the past? Oh, 100% they did shit like this in the past. 100%! Well, how, 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 how young did Kuze look? Yeah, this is the age when he was probably hanging out around Masha at the playground or some shit, right? I don't know. But maybe back then too, she took care of him like this when he got so sad and depressed. And Masha did the same things. Yo, Masha feels like... Masha feels like she's taken over. <laughs> I'm so conflicted now. How chaotic. Arya and Nyan was mad that she was getting cucked there and used their powers to disrupt Masha and Kuze there. That's my headcanon. Based on this menacing look from Arya and Nyan. The end. And that is today's episode of Roshi Dede, and now we have gotten more answers, right? We've gotten more answers, and we, the timelines are making sense. Basically, it's like this. They were born in Russia, came to Japan for a bit, and then left to go to Russia. And at that point, when they were in Japan for a bit, my assumption is that's when Sakun used to hang out with Masha, right? The kid that used to hang around your grandpa's place, and he learned Russian to be able to talk to her. She was able to comfort him through the divorce stuff. Even giving the Yosha Osha fucking head, head pats, right? And then they all went to Russia and then separate and we don't know anymore, right? And now that we're back, she has a pendant of Sakura. Like, this is Masatsuka. And like, I'm pretty sure she knows, but that test is very ambiguous. There's two outcomes, right? Either when she says something in Russian, it was like a test to see would he react. And if he did, then it is for sure him. But he didn't. He hid it. And at that point, did Masha understand? She has a smug look in her face that makes me, it seems like, oh, so, okay, I, you're fucking with me right now. Or, hmm, I guess it's not him and I was just wrong. It's one of the two, I'm not completely sure. It's still ambiguous. The flashback with Arya, it was pretty heartfelt, man. A kid that didn't want to go down, that wanted to win no matter what, got betrayed by these shitty kids and gave up on humanity and then met Kuze and then he helped her get over it and become accepting and work as a team. And to witness experience, you know, uh, just, su just successful ones. And then they even had a dance that got skipped. And, you know, it, it, uh, th th that's the couple, man. That's the main ship. But with Masha being thrown in here, and I don't think Yuki counts part of the race. I think Yuki's just simply going to tease us for the, for, the, for the sake of Insta's fan service. It's become a love triangle yet again. And I just feel like Masha will back out of the competition for the sake of her little sister. Because she knows how much Arya and Kuze, you know, it's going to seem good together. And she, and she cares a lot about her little sister, so... Masha may be the most unfortunate character in the future. I'm not too sure, man. And that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.